Hey, my love, this letter is for you. I remember wondering if mama was all right after telling me that someone gossiping about me was none of my business. All the while, she was right. We get all hot under the collar, ready to throw some bows, ready to put some paws on somebody because they are not putting respect on our name. There was a time when I wanted to be liked and loved by everyone as a result of me having such a big heart. Let me tell you this though, if someone was to walk up to you today and tell you that they don't like you and never will, that person's issues are far bigger than you. If you know for a fact that you didn't give them a reason to dislike you, chances are that whatever is within them isn't vibing well and is annoyed by whatever it is going on within you. We all fall short somehow and none of us are perfect, but it is important to realize that you have enough of your own issues. We don't need to be walking around collecting everyone else's problems. That could be very destructive to you and your life if you pick up excess baggage like it's a collection plate at church. It will eventually weigh you down and cause you to be more broken than you've ever been. At some point in my life, I was very naive and gullible to say the least. I also thought that I needed to be kind and somewhat hide how I felt when I was stabbed in the back or any unfavorable situation. You don't have to be a jerk to be real, but it does require honesty. Being real, number one, with yourself as well as with those around you. In other words, if you know for a fact that someone isn't for you, you don't have to pretend to be their bestie or treat them to a steak dinner. It's okay to love people from a distance, meaning keep communication and interaction to a minimal. Helps with avoiding conflict. I had to realize myself that in this lifetime, you win some and you lose some. Something real and truly meant to be won't be lost. You don't need the dead skin on your body, just as you don't need an auditorium filled with toxic people to surround you. We get sad about fallouts or not understanding why certain people don't like us. When in actuality, those individuals do you a favor by revealing who they truly are so you don't continue to waste your precious and valuable time. If you are destined for greatness, how can you be great picking up all of this unnecessary drama, negativity, and issues? Some of my own personal experiences led me towards my counseling journey. I kept trying to convince God that it wasn't for me, that I wasn't strong enough to help others heal when I myself was broken. Needless to say, he won. <laughs> Some very disheartening things happened that had me trying to be as far away from suicide prevention and crises as I could get. My counseling journey not only helped me see what I was truly capable of doing in others' lives, but help me begin my own healing and self-love journey. When you truly learn to love yourself, you become a lot less bothered about what others think of you and invest your time and thoughts on more important things. Everyone you reach out to rescue will not grab your hand. You aren't meant to be Captain Saver and win them all. One life saved or one person helped is still better than none. You can only help those that truly want your help. Also, be mindful that it isn't your duty to successfully help everyone in the world. If it weren't for me ever having my heart broken and scared senseless, I wouldn't be who I am or where I am today. Sometimes there's a lesson to be learned or a test to pass until we finally get it right. Pray for those you can't help and move on. That is a good way to free yourself from entanglements and or relationships that you have no business being in. I thought I had to be a yes girl, even if it meant my happiness to please others. Let me tell you, people will use you up if you allow it. I've seen families like this, where each person in the family tries to take advantage and see what they can get out of the new girlfriend or boyfriend. The joke really is on you if you allow it 
Because at some point those sirens went off and you ignored it, beloved. It's time to stop punishing yourself by allowing others to mistreat you. You won't lose your ticket to heaven by standing your ground, being wise, and not associating with those that aren't for you. Sincerely, that lady, LAL.